All right, in this video, I'm going to go over the difference between distance and displacement. Now, most people have a pretty good working definition of distance. It's just how far something has gone. But most people don't really know what a good working definition for displacement is. So here's a, here's a diagram. This is a very common diagram that you see in a high school science class. It shows that some, some, <coughs> excuse me, some objects started here, went to point B, went to point C, went to point D, and back down here to point A, where it originally started from. So the starting and the ending points are in the same place. Now, most people could say that if we knew that each of these was five meters, we could say the distance was 20 meters, five, 10, 15, and 20 meters back here. Now, what's the displacement? The displacement, the definition for displacement is our change in position from where we started to where we ended. So we started here, we went to B, we went to C, we went to D, and back down here to A. Now the question is, what's the displacement? What's our change in position now? I'm not going to give you the answer because that's the punchline for the whole video, but let's just go through what distance and displacement is and we'll come back to that. All right, distance is the technical definition, if there is one for distance, would be how much ground an object has covered. Now, what pe most people say is how far something has gone. So how far? Distance is a scalar, no direction. All it is is a magnitude in this camp, in this case, we have an example here that's three meters. Displacement is a little different. It tells you your change in position, how far you are from where you started, and also a direction. So all we care about is where we started and where we ended. It's our change in position from where we started to where we ended. It is a vector because it includes a direction. You can see here we have five meters to the west would be our displacement. And the math, is the final position minus the initial position. So if we want to calculate displacement, all we need to know is our final position and our initial position. And it's always final minus initial. You cannot do initial minus final, otherwise the signs, your pluses and your minuses, and your positive and your negatives won't work out. You can see we don't care anything about what we did in between the final position and the initial position. We don't care how many times we went back and forth or how many times we went round and round. All we care about is where we ended and where we started, okay? So distance is a scalar. It just tells you how far you went. Displacement tells you your change in position and it is a vector because it has a direction that's included with it. Okay, here's an example. We started here. We walked on this purple line, our path, and we ended right here. And the question is, what's our distance and what's our displacement? Now we have two options. We have the purple dashed line and the green dashed line. Let's look at the green one. Here's where we started, and here's where we ended. We don't care what we did around here if we want to know the, dis the, the displacement. If we want to know the distance, we have to consider the whole path that we took. So the green line is, that's right, that is our displacement. We, we, we started here and ended here, and that's all we really care about. Then the other line tells us our actual distance that we went, how far we went. So that would be our distance, okay? All right, now here we come back to this example I had earlier. We said that the uh, distance is how far, that would be 20 meters. The displacement is our change in position. So we started here, we went round and round and round, we came back and we ended in the same place. So our change in position is, that's right, zero meters. Okay, to finish up, I'm just going to go through some of the math of distance and displacement. The distance stuff is pretty easy. The displacement, we just have to remember to use our final and our initial positions. So here's our distance, and we're going to figure out the distance, and we're going to say that we're starting at point A and ending up at point B. And the distance, we just count how far. So we start here. Here's zero, for example, because we start right here. We have one, two, three, four meters. So our distance in this case is simply four meters. All right, let me get the pen back to black. All right, so four meters is our, now our displacement, we have to remember the equation. Position final minus position initial. And now we have to look up here. Well, what was our final position? Our final position was five meters. And what was our initial position? Well, our initial position was one meter. So in this case, our displacement is four meters. Now, it's really positive four meters, and we should really put a plus sign here. So although these appear to be the same, this is four meters and this is four meters, this has a plus sign right here, so it tells us the direction and we're going in the positive direction. This is the positive side of the number line, this is the negative side of the number line, and zero is obviously right here in the middle. Okay, so they seem to be the same, but they're not really exactly the same. Okay, let's try one that looks a little different still. 
All right, and here our distance is, once again, we're starting at A, we're going to B, so we just count how many, one meter, two meters, three meters, four meters, five meters, six meters. So we just put down here the distance is six meters. Now, our displacement, once again, we have to write down the equation first, position final minus position initial, and you can see that our final position is minus four meters, and it's minus our initial position, which is two meters, and you can see the answer in this case is minus six meters. We went six meters in the negative direction. Once again, distance is a scalar, just the magnitude, displacement is a vector, has a distance and uh, the direction. All right, here's the next one. The next one, once again, the distance is just how far. Now you gotta remember, we're gonna go on this one, we go A to B to C. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 meters. So the distance in this case is 12 meters. Now, displacement, we don't really care what happened in between. It's just position final minus position initial. We don't care that we went back and forth. Our final position here at C is minus one meter. And our initial position is right here at A, that's minus three meters. So it's minus three meters, okay? So you can see that our answer is going to turn out to be two meters in the positive direction. So you can see we started here at A, we went to B and ended up at C. But for displacement, all we care about is where we started and where we ended. And you can see we ended two meters in the positive direction away from where we started. All right, so that's the difference. And you can see these two answers now are very different. The two meters plus and the 12 meters are very different from each other. Okay, I think we have time for one more. Let's just try this one. I just wanna show you that even though we're always on the positive side, position final minus position initial, you can see here's our number line. It's a little different, five, 15, 20, 25, uh, five, 15, 25, 35, 45, and 50. All right, so what was our final position. Well, our final position is 15 meters minus our initial position, which is 45 meters. And obviously this answer is minus 30 meters. Now, all of our number line values up here are positive values, but because we still went in the negative direction, our displacement is going to be negative. You can see right here we have the magnitude, 30 meters, and the direction is in the minus direction. So we went 30 meters in the minus direction. All the sign tells you is the direction. That's all it tells you. It doesn't mean you're on the negative side of the number line or anything like that, or you started in the positive and went to the negative. All it means is you went in the negative direction. Okay? So I hope those are helpful, and just remember it's final minus initial. Thank you.